Hello everyone, Lorioozy back again, back playing Minecraft Jurassic Depths, and here I'm just about to enter into Temple Tree. Um, there's only one more after this, the final kind of temple you have to go to. Puzzle here is quite simple. Um, one of the simplest one of them all. Water goes down. It's that the redstone lamp. Going into this one now. Um, this, did you get help in this game? Like, they do give you little bits of clues. I'll come up on the side. Get right there. The bridge seems to have collapsed over time. Concrete power doesn't last very long. Perhaps there is some way we can reinforce it in the past. So basically, you just knock all these blocks out. Obviously, water hits the concrete and it sets. Now, this isn't um, a tutorial as such. This is just gameplay of it. Um, there's a couple of puzzles I still struggle with. Um, I've played the played this game a few times. The game does have a lot of bugs and game kind of messing up bugs. Um, so I've played it about three times. I've figured out <laughs> some of the other puzzles a bit better, but there's still a couple I struggle with. Also, there's a part where you can get stuck in a bit of a bug. I'll just, when we come to that puzzle, I'll let you know about it, just in case. Because if you do get hit by it, you'll have to, and you've done Temple 1, 2, and 3, well, you'll have to go back to the very beginning and start over at introduction, which I don't think anybody wants to do that. So, that's more or less. The bridge has been reinforced, it's still here. Now, this part is I do make a mistake, I should be clicking the clock in there, but just at the gravel, but I don't. I, go everywhere but going back checking am I going the right way it's always as soon as you start recording you start making these silly little mistakes um, again this is just me just showing gameplay eventually I will cop on if obviously you have copped on that I'm doing the commentary after afterwards I'm adding the commentary to it These I should have done a lot quicker, but for some reason I, was, I just wasn't getting it. Now in the thumbnail description I have this down as spoilers, and the reason I have that is because it's it's basically showing you the whole game. Uh, once you finish the game, it's finished, and the only, only option you have is to start the game over. So, some people wouldn't advertise that as spoilers but I'd like to let people know I wouldn't like to if somebody really wants to play it well let them and not see this well I wouldn't like to ruin it for them but if you're curious and what it, what's it's like well by all means watch the video oh well, eventually I get it some of these I should have enough experience of doing this. There it is, it's gone. But the one later on I spend a bit well, probably a bit too much time on. But I've done it quicker in other attempts. Now obviously you have to search these three caves. The thing about me when I play Minecraft I get lost in the a lot of places. Excuse me. After this, I've only one more video to do to, to finish. Now I have to say I did enjoy it, but the bugs do kind of spoil an awful lot of it. They do it, it ruins its full potential. Really, the best way to put it. Um, I think on Temple Tail we showed you where you can get stuck in the air. Now that, that was a. Uh, bit of a pain and then there's also the one where oh yeah finished temple train and just wasn't recognized as being finished so basically I couldn't finish the game and um, because I couldn't finish I finished it but I didn't recognize I'd finished it and so that meant when I went to the final temple I didn't have all the keys uh, which I went into creative and for some reasons at that time it worked um, and I did get to finish it 
boy, that would have been really frustrating to go back and play the whole game again. Just <laughs> to have a complete, and then you'd be wondering what happens if this happens again, this glitch. But it's something that's only happened once in the few times I've played the game, so. And by going and create the scene to fix the problem. This is what we're looking for. There's six. Now, on this round, all I've done in this game, I've only this is temple tree. I've only done um, I've another two temples to do. So I'm gonna check after this, see if I go on creative, and if I go over to uh, the final temple and see if it opens, and then I'll just put it in the just maybe do a video on it. Just in case somebody else ends up going so far in the game and get caught with the same thing to see if it does work proper. Again, as I say, I do get lost quite a bit. Well, we have one number down, just another two to go. Obviously, that's the way out. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, we're out. next side one. Probably harder to do the side ones because at least when you know when you come out you're gonna go into the middle one you're gonna go into the right one instead of warning them whether if you do the middle one first and you've done the one on the left or the right warn them <laughs> which one you don't. I had found these uh, numbers a lot quicker on previous attempts but again as you're recording things always seem to go wrong or you just you just don't see things if anybody else has had problems with bugs just please leave it in the comments or have experienced similar bugs to what I've explained the other I think there was one other bug when it actually keeps crashing to the dashboard but not so much in the temple I haven't had a crash like that really in the temples it's more so when you're walking on the outside with the dinosaurs probably one of the actual longest puzzles um, more so as to what you have to do see there's a number 8 there where the other puzzles if you know the sequence you can do them fairly quick where this is one where physically you have to go into all these spots so it's probably one of the longest ones you can do now we one thing about this game it's kind of It'd be nice if they had some sort of way of playing on the game after you finish it. A survival mode where you could release the dinosaurs or something like that where you have the dinosaur eggs. I've looked in the eggs in creative and they're just still described as the dinosaurs are still in the form of cow. When you say so you spawn a cow, it'd be a dinosaur. And I think a couple of others where I think a creeper turned out to be a large spot. Messing about with the eggs, number three. Um, but it would have been nice if they had something where you could play on the game instead of the, as soon as you finish the game, it's over and, and that's it. And if you want to play it again, you have to go back to play from an introduction to uh, the whole way through again. Now, the other thing about this game, there is no split screen or single player. Which on Minecraft you like to have split screen and, and multiplayer, but I do understand why because it wouldn't work in split screen. Like I said, I know that myself. It just wouldn't work. I think this puzzle takes me a bit longer than what I should. I 
kind of understand it, but I don't think anybody will actually get physically stuck at this part of the game where they can't get past it. I know sometimes when you, you pop an orange block out and another one pops out and another one goes in. Um, but I haven't figured out the total sequence to it. So I just really just have a go at them. There is no uh, actual method. When I'm down here, there is no method to it. I'm just. When I see an option of where I know, well, if I take move one block, well, I know I've done it. But I haven't figured out the total proper sequence. The whole problem here with that wall coming down now is those, those two yellows are in. But that yellow only popped out. <laughs> the other two yellows. Oh, that kind of work that pink yellow is still stuck in on the bottom. Obviously it was one of these, actually kick that out. And it's not the other one. No, it's still in. To re redo this is just the hard part to find the sequence. You, you can only do this once. And if you want to do it again, you have to go back to introduction, play through introduction again, and then come back to this puzzle. Which kind of would be a bit frustrating. No, still not out. I think I should have hit the pink one that time, but... I just need to block that up there. In previous attempts I did get this much quicker, but again it was just pure luck on what I was hitting. That's it. Again, it's not a tutorial, it's just more gameplay. But you wouldn't really get stuck there. Now we're coming up to this bit. Now this is one where you have to watch out. Uh, <coughs> when I first done this puzzle, I didn't realise. You can see there's a red block and then there's a straight line where there's a hole. And that's where you have to get the minecart. Now, when I was pressing these buttons, I didn't realise that was moving because if you put, the only one that makes it move is that button there. But I was hitting the other buttons and nothing was happening. So I didn't think they were doing anything. So I actually went into I think it was the into the present or the past and there's a gap where you can go down and we actually pushed it through and uh, I got it a if you push it onto the white, it just disappears back to its reset point. But eventually, I got it to the position and I pushed it through, and uh, then I killed myself with lava. I went back to where the large water pill was, where the three caves were, and continued from there. And I finished the puzzle. But that wasn't the way you're supposed to do the puzzle. As what's going on here is how you're, what I'm doing now is how you do the puzzle. But the catch then was, and um, just in case somebody else gets caught by this. On another attempt, I done the same thing, 
I killed myself with the lava, I respawned. But when I respawned, I couldn't time travel anymore. And I couldn't get across the pill without time traveling. Because anytime I threw, I'd done the clock, it disappeared, and I didn't time travel. I went, they gave me another clock, and it just wouldn't happen. And so, eventually I had to give up the game. So if you were at the doing, say, level one and two, and you got stuck there, you would have to reset the game to the very start again, which would be, again, frustrating. So I'm just gonna let you know that, so you don't make that mistake. You obviously have seen the sequence to the puzzle, um, that's how it's done. The proper way, that's probably the only puzzle I've done actually proper, and I've done that within, I think, as quick as it, as it can be done. So I'll come up with the end. This is the point where I did say I didn't finish Temple 3. I completed it, got here, but I never got the key. It just glitched. As I say, I went into creative and I seemed to solve the problem. I've no guarantee with it. It would do it every time, but on that occasion, it did. So we're coming up to the final sequence. Um, I think I'm going to leave my commentary at that and just let the final cutscene run through. So from Blurry Uzi, the best of luck and take care.